Assalamualaikum uh, dear viewers again Shwebhi Mehta I was here with another experiment of the electrical machines there today we are uh, performing the experiment of the polarity test of the transformer so before doing this experiment we need to know why we are uh, conducting this polarity testing of transformer why need to identify the polarities of the transformer the polarities of the transformer already we know that the transformer has the two windings the primary winding and the secondary winding in both windings the emfs are induced and in this uh, test of the transformer we need to know the relative direction of the induced voltage is in both windings so the polarity testing of the transformer is uh, apply in the application point of view is used for the parallel operation of the transformer uh, with the grid side so before doing the parallel operation of the transformer experiment obviously we need to identify how the polarities are going to be connected of the transformer if the transformers are connected to be in parallel two or more than two so there are the two types of the polarities in the transformer the additive polarity and the subtractive polarity if the polarities are the same then the relative induced emf of direction in the both windings will be the subtractive one e1 minus e2 and if the polarities are additive in uh, the transformer then it will be the sum of the induced voltages e1 plus e2 generally we are using the sub preferring the subtractive polarity in the transformer in, in the subtractive polarity of the transformer the loads and the, even the terminals of the transformer are subjected to the low voltage stress and because the there is a subtraction between that uh, uh, the induced emfs a1 and the e1 e2 in the windings of the transformer but when we are talking about the additive polarity means there will be the opposite direction of the induced emf and that will be the sum of the both emf will leads to the high voltage stress to the both windings and even the terminals of the transformer so is before doing this experiment we need to just uh, 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 see the circuit diagram so that how the circuit diagram is going to be implemented on this trainer so as you can see uh, in this experiment so this is the transformer uh, which is uh, experiment which is has the same polarity that you can see h1 and h2 are the terminals high voltage terminals are connected with the supply side and x1 and x2 are the secondary winding terminals if we are doing the same polarities then h1 is connected with S x1 and h2 is connected with the x2 so if this if these condition these connections are um, uh, to be uh, make on this circuit make on this trainer obviously we will uh, prove the transformer has the additive uh, subjective polarity in the in the uh, in the uh, experiment and obviously we will find out the e1 minus e2 the voltmeter will give us the less reading in comparison with the applied voltage and second my second uh, our diagram shows the opposite polarity of the transformer it will give us the additive uh, induced emf uh, uh, from the output side so here h1 is connected with the x2 and h2 is connected with the x1 and our h1 and h2 both are again connected with the supply side so that give us the uh, voltages which we call the additive in nature and it will uh, obviously the windings and the terminals of the transformer in this experiment will sub, uh, in this diagram will subject it to the high voltage stress and in this diagram it will be in the low voltage stress so practically we are uh, uh, we are preferring this subtractive polarities 
of the transformer because in this condition the leads and the transformer windings are uh, in the subjected to the less voltage stress so th this was the connection diagrams and the circuit diagrams of this experiment now we are doing <coughs> these uh, uh, connecting all these wires uh, on the uh, make this circuit diagram on the strainer and see and observe the results from this experiment so now uh, we are going to uh, make the circuit diagram on this trainer by uh, so observing this circuit diagram and uh, make the connections on this trainer. We need the AC supply voltage and you can see this is the H1 and H2 according to the circuit diagram. I have walled this uh, terminals of the transformer H1, H2 okay, and X1 and X2. So H1 and H2 are connected with this AC supply and obviously uh, both have the same polarities then H1 and X1 are connected and H2 and X2 are connected in the subtractive polarity above diagram we are doing in this uh, experiment okay so first of all we need to if we are measuring the current of the transformer first of all connect this emitter in series with the transformer and this will be connected with this H1 terminal okay and second terminal will be the neutral H2 will be connected with the neutral of the transformer so this is the uh, emitter which is connected in series with the primary winding of the transformer this will give us the reading of the primary side uh, current now what we can what we have to do mm, join the same polarity so H1 is connected with the X1 here and also the voltmeter is connected in parallel between the your H1, H2, sorry, and your X2. So, give the voltage to the transformer by rising the voltage, uh, voltage rise button. So, there is a 127 maximum voltage of the primary side. So, give the 100 volt uh, to this transformer and see the results. What we are result, what results we are obtaining from the voltmeter? So now here, we are giving the almost hundred volt to this uh, transformer, and uh, what we are observing, the forty four volts we are observing. Now, this uh, condition shows that this uh, is the subtractive polarity. Obviously the both uh, there will be the less voltage of the volt main voltmeter we are observing we are given the 100 volts and we are obtaining the 44 volts from the output side so from here we can interchange the two leads then it will be the opposite polarities mean h1 is connected with the x2 and h2 is connected with the x1 so that will be the opposite polarity and then Obviously, in the opposite polarity, the voltage will be maximum in comparison to that supply voltage. So, that will be called the additive polarity of the transformer. So, again, I am interchanging the two leads. H1 is connected with the X2 and your H2 is connected with the X1. Now, see, 107 volt we are obtaining and almost 100 and 102 we are given. So, the voltage is rise and obviously, in this condition, the tra transformer uh, uh, leads and even the transformer windings are subjected to the high voltage st uh, stress so this was the polarity testing of the transformer the practically uh, we are uh, why we are conducting this test, test because when we are doing the transformer parallel operation we need to know the polarities of the transformer either they have the same polarities or the opposite polarities if the transformer has the same polarities obviously that will be called as a subtractive polarity of the transformer and if the transformer has the opposite polarities then that will be condition called as the transformer uh, transformer uh, additive polarity so this was the experiment and we have analyzed our result through our ammeter and even the old meter so at the end at the last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel Shoebe Madayo uh, and your subscription subscription motivates me to make the more videos related to the electrical machines lab thank you very much